just uh, a bunch of PS5 games, because I know we're PS5 heads here. Oh, yeah. Uh, that were announced. Uh, and we don't have to go through all of them. We just go through the big ones. The big one Yote. was, of course, Ghost of Yote. It's oh, looking forward to it. Ghost of Tsushima 2, basically. But yes. this one is uh, takes place 300 years after the time of Jin. So we have a new protagonist. Don't know her name yet, but she looks pretty awesome. She's a ronin of some sort. She's like a traveling musician. She's She's got one of those... Uh, I don't know what they're called, but those like Japanese string instruments. Mm. Um, but yeah, so it's like 300 years later. I guess it's taking place more closer to like colonial times because uh, mm. they're using, it looks like they're using, uh, you know, rifles. Uh, I kind of, yeah, like yeah, muskets. There should be some firearms in this one. So like it, it gave me vibes of uh, Assassin's Creed 3 and Assassin's Creed 4, where. You know, you're you're primarily fighting with like melee weapons, but once in a while you can just grab a rifle, and it's since it's like a one shot, you just grab it, fire it, and just like throw it at your enemies. Yeah, should be uh, good. Yo, uh, Tsushima was so great. Yeah, so great. Yeah, and I, yeah. And I went. Up, I looked at uh, Yote on Google Maps, and that's. That's in the north. That's like on the northern island. It's Hokkaido now, yeah. So yeah, different different setting. That mountain looks pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be good. Um, they announced a remaster of Horizon Zero Dawn, the original. Ooh, yes. Excellent. And um, I've got to admit, it looks pretty good. It looks sick. It's a damn fine game. Oh, whoops, sorry. And. Uh, you know, I'd like I'd like it to be free, but if you already own the PS4 version, then the upgrade is or the remaster is ten bucks. Oh, sweet! So if you already, if you if you own it and already played it, then uh, it'll be ten bucks for that you know visual upgrade. It, I hadn't I didn't hear. Well, actually, no. The other thing was that they re recorded a lot of the dialogue. Yeah, and the mocap as well. As well as yeah, the mocap because that was a big complaint about the first game. Is it looked like like the people, <laughs> like all the conversations you had were like they looked very mechanical, like yeah, they, they were move much. <laughs> like they were animatronics on a ride. But apparently yeah. they they've made improvements. Totally. So that's and cool. What else? Monster Hunter Wilds. Monster Hunter Wilds. You excited for that one, Mike? I know you were really big I, into worlds. It was good. Is this uh, like the sequel to that? That's what it seems to be. Nice. This is like a, a, a full AAA sequel to because that was because most of the Monster Hunter games that I've that I've known of are like handheld games like on Nintendo. Yeah. Ones, but this one looks like it's yeah it it looks pretty much like a sequel to Worlds. Excellent. I know some fellas that'll be excited about that. Uh, let's see, Astrobot DLC. Astrobot came out was a big oh, hit. Yeah. I, I definitely want to play that one because I, I love 3D platformer games and people have just been singing the praises of this. So Yeah, it's supposed to be pretty good. I've heard good once, things. Once I get the time, I definitely want to play it. Well, the the they came out with a free version of it with every PS5 that you bought in the very beginning. Um, not this one, but like a, a little Astrobot platformer. Um, and it was adorable and fun, and it reminded me a lot of like early Mario Brothers, Zelda, not Zelda, um, Mario Brothers, maybe Sonic stuff like Crash that. Bandicoot. It was, Crash Bandicoot. There you go. Yeah, jump and run games. You jump yeah, and run. <laughs> yeah, it was it was jump a lot of fun. Run. You jump and run and collect stuff, and uh, yeah, that was like a tech demo that came, that first came out with PS Five. Uh, you could like go through it like in about an hour. Uh, but this is a full-fledged game because they they gave the studio just like, hey, make us a full game. This is fun. Yeah. And apparently, it's full of just like bunch of Sony Easter eggs. Because um, like it, you know, in Mario, I guess you collect stars, but in this, yeah. you collect little your little robot buddies, and a lot of them are dressed up as like uh, Sony characters. Oh yeah, that's fun. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So you, nice. So you can collect Nathan Drake. Um, 
Let's see. Midnight Walk. Hell is Us. Lots, lots of, yeah, just little ones. Power World coming out on PS5. Oh, a new yeah. Metro game. Uh, but no, I think those were all the big ones we went through that were announced. Yeah. Uh, unless you guys see anyone on this list. Well, and the whole article is there in the Discord. If you want to see the full list yourself, feel free to join the Discord. There's a link in the description for it. Click the link and join us. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Hell yeah. 